my god! Oh my god! He's huge! <laughs> and oh my god! <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Yield here, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And by some miracle, this game has once again updated! Huzzah! Let us all rejoice! So, the game is now in 0.2.0 pre-alpha, which might not mean much to you, but it means that a lot of stuff has been added to the game. Now, a lot of units have been added, which I'll get into in just a bit, but also, we have been given so many new levels. We have been given 10 more levels. My god, that's doubling the game! We have twice as much content now! Woohoo! Yes! Now, we're not actually going to be playing those levels today. We'll probably do that at some other point this week. Today, we're actually going to be diving into sandbox mode once again because, oh boy, is there a lot that has been added. Woo! We have, to start off, we've been given three new maps, or I don't even know, it might be four. I think if we start up, let's just throw some guy in here. Uh, let's just throw a peasant in against a peasant. The hills map. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so we are we have four new maps, and I think they've gotten rid of the other main map as well Which I don't know. I kind of like the original map that they had going for it. It was really cool I liked the castles and whatnot, but you know what? I'm just happy that they've gone ahead and given us a bunch of new maps We'll we'll test them all out individually later, but for now we've got a lot of great characters like look we've got the samurai we've got the Viking We've got the chicken man. Oh, oh, guys, we got the chicken man. If you remember from the last main level of the game when we played the actual levels, the chicken man. Oh, I can't wait. And then we've got the chicken man man. I have no idea what that is, but I can't wait to go in and try it out. <laughs> okay, so I started off by going ahead and putting... 10 Vikings against 10 Samurais because we haven't tested out either of them and I think they might be a good matchup and we could see how they go against each other. Now since we're using Samurais, I think going ahead to the Japan map would be a great idea. But I also did notice that there's now a performance bar at the top that grows the more people that you have there and kind of tells you how good your game's gonna run, which is really neat because you up until now or just in general, you're allowed to have as many guys as you want. So sometimes you don't know how well it's gonna run, but now you do, which is really good. So let's go ahead now and join the Japan map with all of our guys here and see how this goes. Let's go ahead and play and, oh, this map looks so cool. Okay, the map looks cool. The people look cool. Oh my God, look at the little samurai swords. <laughs> and now we got Vikings with shields and axes. My God, that went way faster than I thought it would. And man, the samurais beat the Vikings? That doesn't even make sense. The Vikings are a little bit more money. We have to go back in there. I can't accept this. My god, just look at this map. <laughs> I love it. Everything about this is so cool. And we can just see them. Oh, who's going to win now? Is it going to be the Samurais again? Ooh, I don't know. It's looking even. Who's going to win? These guys are so cool. I love their little swords and everything. It's so neat. <laughs> and there we go. It looks like apparently Blue won this time. So... I guess they're kind of even, the two of them. They might have a better scenario where they would be better in. Those characters are really cool looking, and I'm going to have a lot of fun messing around with them in the future. But we also have two more units that we haven't taken a look at yet, and I want to see what these guys actually are. Now, Chicken Man, I know what the Chicken Man is. He kind of is like, you know, he kind of just poops out chickens right here. You'll see. There's these guys. He just, you know, he poops out chickens like for some reason I don't I don't really know and then they just fly at you which is horrifying it's really cool I like these guys but apparently there's a chicken man man and I don't know what this is gonna be so I mean we might as well place it down and fight two chicken mans against the chicken man man okay let's go ahead and do this we'll stay on the Japan map for now and we'll go ahead and start this up and oh my god oh my god he's huge <laughs> and oh my god <laughs> he's shooting out chicken men that shoot out the chickens 
<laughs> what is this? What? What? No. That's horrifying. <laughs> okay, guys. So that was absolutely terrifying. I we need to take him down. That we can't let this chicken man man go on. He is just too evil, too strong. The world cannot handle that sort of power. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop a Huacha down and just take this guy out with one barrage, hopefully, and just annihilate him. Or we could miss. Oh, there we go. We're hitting him. We're hitting him. Is he dead? No! He's still going! Okay, you know what? We got six Huachas lined up. Let's see how this goes. Stir it up. Six Huachas. Let's take this stupid beast down. Although those arrows are a bit low. Come on, take him down. Take him down. Wait. What? He's not dead. Oh my god. That guy just... Look at him. He was a porcupine. How are we going to beat this thing? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. How are we going to beat this? Okay. We now have a lineup of archers in the front line as well. To help shoot him down. He can't survive this. There's, there's no way. He's just, there's no way, it's not possible. He, he can't just, he can't survive this. There's no way. No. No, this can't be happening. How? How? How is he still alive? How? How is this a possibility? This is insanity. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> no. What does the world come to? The one thing that might be able to compete against this chicken man man may indeed be the chicken man we'll have to see let's go ahead and hop back in here and see we've got us we got six of those chicken men in here to help out oh man please tell me that this guy this this is like a boss yeah I don't even know how this is possible he <sighs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. I don't know what we're gonna do, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do. He just keeps winning every time. He's gonna take over the world before we know it. I mean, honestly, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I just have way too many things loaded into this game. It's probably gonna break it or it's in bad territory for performance, so this could be risky, but we've got more watches in here. We've lined up a bunch of Vikings in the front line, and we even have some more chicken men. So this could go real bad. Like, I have, I don't know. I'm just hoping that somehow we can take this man down because right now it's, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. They did it. They took him down. Ho! 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 We've done it! We've done it! I thought we were doomed to an eternity of this man roaming our earth! But in reality, we've conquered him! I feel stronger than ever before now! I can take on the world! Okay, enough of me being a weirdo. We finally took down that crazy man, and now it's time for us to give a whirl, fighting some more battles against the other guys. Uh, but also checking out some of the other maps because we haven't checked out the winter or the desert map And I kind of want to see what they are so we could do some simple battles Let's go ahead and ha set up these samurais and see actually how they do against maybe the swordsman That would be cool to figure out so let's go ahead and put those guys down and then where are these swordsmen footmen? There we go So we've got ten of those guys and ten footmen We can throw those guys down and see how they are on this winter map and okay this is the winter map. There's a little bit of a puddle here, which is cool. And then we've got, ooh, this is the fight. Oh my, God. that was fast. That was one fast fight. They like all paled each other, impaled immediately. They all died. That was way too quick. And wait, can, oh, blue one just by a bit. But I don't think that's really conclusive evidence. They're pretty even, I must say. But now let's go ahead and check out the desert map. Okay, so we're going to check out the desert map, but this time we're going to have the Vikings, 10 Vikings against 10 of the shields, because the shield is a 
they both have shields. The Vikings have a small round shield, and the shield guys, obviously, just, they just have giant shields. So I thought this would be a good contest as well. And we can kind of check it out on this map, too. But oh, this is kind of different. We've got little boulders that are actually interfering. We've got like serious terrain in here, which is kind of neat as well. That interferes with it as well. But man, it definitely looks like the shields are way better than the, you know, the little blue guys here with the, you know, the Vikings. But yeah. Man, guys, this whole game just completely messed with. Things are crazy. So many new things. Okay, guys, I think I want to test one more thing, which was the Chicken Man Man against the Chicken Man Man. I know it's mad of me. It's insanity for me to try and take this lunatic back out into the fields, but I wanted to see what it was like to put them up against each other and see how it'll go because... I mean, they're so strong. I don't I don't even know what to think. This could go real bad in all honesty. This may have been a poor decision on my part. I have seen the birth and death of so many people. It's unnerving, guys. We're seeing the birth and then the death. It's too much for one person to see. Too much. So much birth. So much death. Is it wrong of me to say that this whole place just looks like a bowl of popcorn? It's just like popcorn flying everywhere. I mean, like, I just want to take a handful and just go down to town, you know? Is that wrong of me? Guys, I may have made a bad decision here. It's the world is now just going to be flooded with chicken men, men. There's there's nothing we can do. The world is coming to an end and it's all at my hand. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, world. Please forgive me. Okay, guys, so that was a lot of wacky scenarios. I don't even know what to think. I'm just glad to see that this game has been updated once again. So many new cool things. I'm just, I'm so happy with it. It's so awesome. But for now, guys, that is going to be where we're going to have to call it. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment and a like down below. But for now, uh, just let me know. Do you want to see some more of this? Because now that we have the new levels, we could go ahead and give those a whirl sometime this week. So let me know that kind of stuff down below. But for now, guys, I hope you did enjoy. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!